Hey guys, Seaweed from Tribal Soup Project here. Welcome to another episode of Simsational. You're watching a video that actually combines two of my series, and those series are the How to Cheat series and the All Things Custom and Mod Sational series. So, if you are having an issue um, using a cheat code, like let's say you saw one of my videos um, for a cheat code and you can see that the cheat works for me, but for some odd reason, it's just not working for you. A lot of times the reason that a cheat code which once worked and no longer works is because we had a game update and um, the cheat for whatever reason has been disabled. Well, there is a mod that will re-enable all of those cheats. So I want to say like 80% of the time, if you're not on console and you are having this issue with cheat codes not working, I'm going to say like 80% of the time and this is going to fix it. But unfortunately, if you do have console, you cannot put mods into your game. Um, so this, of course, is not going to work for you. But if you're not on console and you want to use this mod, and you already know how to install mods, um, and you just want to know where you can get it, I will link to that down into the description below. But if you don't know how to use mods, I am going to show you guys how to install the mod into your game right now. But real quick, before we do that, I am going to show you, um, I had done a video a while back about how to spawn collectibles, which will basically make an object just appear in the game next to your sim. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my cheat box and I'm going to turn my cheats on. And now I'm going to go ahead and input the code that should spawn the Will of the Wisp collectible. And I hit enter and as we can see, there is no Will of the Wisp. Um, but in a video that I made a while back, it does work. Well, that cheat has, for whatever reason, been disabled, but we can go ahead and fix this issue with the All Cheats mod, and here's how we do it. So the first thing that we need to do before downloading a mod or installing any custom content is we need to make sure that we have enable this to happen in our game settings. So I'm going to come up here to my options menu and then I am going to choose game options and then I'm going to click on other. You want to make sure that you have your script mods allowed and your enable custom content and mods box ticked. These two boxes need to be ticked so if they're not ticked in your game, you need to tick them and apply your changes so that they are saved in there and we're ready to go ahead and install our mods and custom content. So the first thing that you need to do to put this mod into your game is you need to completely close out and exit your game. Now, you can put the mod into your game while the game is still running, but the mod is not going to take effect until you reboot your game. So, you, once you've closed out your game, you're going to come to this site to get the All Cheats mod, which was created by Twisted Mexi. Twisted Mexi is someone who's very well known in the simming community. I've been using this mod for a very long time. It is a safe mod. It's not going to break your computer or your game. And when you get to this page, you're simply going to go ahead and scroll down to this All Cheats script mod, and you're going to click it. And then once it is finished downloading, you're going to click this little arrow and select Show in Folder. Once you see the mod in the folder, you're simply going to right click on it and copy it. Then you're going to come to Documents. Then you're going to select Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and lastly, Mods. 
And then you simply want to right click inside of the folder and paste that mod in and boom, bam, it's just that simple to put the mod in and we're ready to go back into our game. All right, so now that I have got my game um, turned back on, the first thing that I see is this little window, which does not usually pop up. This is basically just telling us that um, these are all the mods or custom content that we have successfully put into the game. And I'm simply going to click on the check mark to acknowledge it and then go into my actual game. All right, so now that we are back into our game, we're ready to go ahead and use that cheat, which didn't work before. And we're going to begin by enabling our testing cheats. So the first thing we need to do is open up that cheat box by pressing and holding Control Shift and the letter C on the keyboard to make that cheat box open up in the top left hand corner. And the code to enable our cheats is testing cheats spacebar true and then we hit enter and the drop down has opened up letting us know that the cheats have been enabled and we're ready to go ahead and in this instance enter in the code to spawn our collectible so i'm going to go ahead and just paste the code in real quick and then i'm going to hit enter and voila as you can see here she now oops 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 she now has the lovely and beautiful fairy like will of the wisp collectible boom our cheats are all of a sudden working again and we can live happily ever after in the land of cheaters <laughs> so if you guys learned something from watching this and you did like the video do feel free to comment down below if you have any other tips or tricks of your own to fix cheats for people that are having issues with them. I would love to hear what you have to say down in the comments as well. If you did learn something from the video and you liked us, liked it, help us out by hitting that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel because that really helps us out as well. Check out the website, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, guys, happy simming and I'll catch y'all later. Goodbye.